Yeah, so today we're gonna be looking at some time-lapse setup and footage and accessories for the GoPro Hero 5 and Hero 6. Uh, it was pretty close in comparison as far as your time-lapse capabilities go. And they're both great cameras with a little bit of a price difference. So you can get a lot of good camera with the Hero 5 for about a hundred bucks less than you can with the Hero 6. Let's check it out up here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and see what we got. So with these different time lasses that I'm shooting today, I've got three different pan heads to choose from. Uh, the first is the VidPro MH365. It's uh, the most customizable of the three. It's got a rechargeable battery built in uh, and gives gives us about six hours of run time when the uh, low capacity is 2.2 uh, .2 pounds or less. And it can handle cameras up to about four and a half pounds. Uh, it ships with a smartphone holder, a GoPro base, and a micro USB charging cable for charging the internal battery. The VidPro has the ability to adjust rotation angle from 15 degrees up to the full 360 degree rotation and those can be adjusted over time spans of 5, 15, 30, or 60 minutes. Next up is the Turns Pro. It has uh, many of the customization options that you see in the Vid Pro, uh, but it feels a little bit flimsier in the box. You get a dedicated smartphone mount with it, but you don't get the GoPro or other mounts inside. The good thing about it, it's powered by four AA batteries, so those are available everywhere. It's probably a little overpriced when you compare it to the VidPro MH365. The VidPro just feels like and operates like a better quality product. And then finally, we're using the GoPro Scene Lapse. And this is basically just a converted egg timer. Uh, it rotates in a single direction. It pans from right to left. For what it is though, and at the price of 35 bucks retail, it's a solid little option to have in your bag so that you can quickly add motion to your GoPro time lapses. It's specifically designed for GoPro. It has a dedicated GoPro mount on top of the unit. Since it's all mechanical inside and just operates like an egg timer, uh, you don't have to worry about having to recharge batteries or put new batteries in. So it can live in your bag and you can just pull it out when, whenever you're ready to use it and uh, it's ready to go. The rate of turn will give you 90 degrees arc over 15 minutes, and then from there, 180 degree over 30, 270 degrees over 45 minutes, and in an hour, it'll complete the full 360 degree rotation. So all of these time-lapse motion tools offer a, something a little bit different. Uh, I think for the money, the VidPro Image 365 is kind of your best bang for buck before you step into something like the Syrup Genie or higher-end cinematography time-lapse tools. In the end, just worth having in your bag if you've got a GoPro. It makes a lot of sense to have the GoPro uh, for the price and the flexibility of you don't have to have batteries and it's always ready to add a little bit of flair to your GoPro shots. So I hope you found this video useful if you're looking for a way to spice up your GoPro shots with uh, with time lapse. Uh, and the cool thing about working with GoPros is that it doesn't necessarily have to be super professional. I've used GoPros at the beach or as a Christmas morning time lapse with the kids or un unwrapping presents. Uh, and throwing these into just casual videos can can add a lot of flavor uh, even if it's just your family watching the videos and if you guys have other recommendations for what you're shooting GoPro time lapses with I'd love to see what those are so feel free to drop a comment on the YouTube page uh, for this video or uh, on the blog post on Photography Bay and thanks a lot see you next time